Hi, it's me, Vamp, and today we're looking at efficient beams for the um, Convectrex. It's uh, one of the Nightwave Act rewards. If you want to see me go over all the rewards, definitely um, I'll leave a card to the video where I do that top right hand corner as usual. But yeah, let's get into this mod. Well, okay, here's the thing. This mod, I feel like the E trying to bring back life into some older weapons. As you can see, I had to build this weapon. Full disclosure, it finished building right before this video. I already have the mastery rank for this weapon, but I kind of deleted it ages ago. I mean, okay, it's not the worst weapon in the world. It gets a bad rep for being a super bad weapon. And you know what? I should... I'll let it be all it can be. I'll give it a catalyst as well. We can't forget this mod, though, so... We gotta make sure to install it. I'm gonna show you guys the build. Feel free to, as I'm adding it on there, feel free to skip ahead if you want. But basically, basically what this is, is, first of all, when I fully level it up. But basically what this, um, is it's, it's a shotgun beam weapon, okay? Yes, it's a beam weapon, it's a shotgun, it counts as a shotgun, I believe it counts even in the codex as a shotgun. See, because as you can see, I'm using point blank, which is a shotgun mod. So yeah, this is definitely counts as a shotgun. That's cool, right? And then we're going to, since this is mostly a slash weapon, we're going to put um, sweeping serration on it. And of course, we gotta make sure we have this. Only consumes ammo when dealing damage and plus 150% that is chance. So we want it mostly for the status chance thing, okay? And we're going to go ahead and actually we might take sweeping serration off. Uh we'll have to take one of these off. We'll take this off. Only because of the fact that we are going to do dual stat mods, okay? Oh, look, you can use combustion beam on this too. Yeah, we're taking combustion beam. Okay, here we go. Okay. And then for the dual stat mod, we want to make Rosev. And since I'm not super new, to the game. I know that corrosive combined toxin and electricity. Ha ha! I knew it. I was a hundred percent sure the whole time. It's to you guys that weren't sure. Okay. Anyway. Let's go to into mission. It's important that we're a novice for this specific thing because we are going to go into the void. We are going to go solo. And we are going to go into a regular survival mission on Annie as we do. So I can show you guys this weapon in action. Both of its, um, you know, effects of this mod. As you can see, the mod gave it, as you could see, the mod 
with the door stop mod we are talking about oh and look hit the threat feature right here okay look i can just fire this beam almost infinitely you know what because of the fact that it doesn't consume ammo if it's not damaging anything which is actually a lot cooler than people give it credit for. So it's like you could literally just hold down the trigger if you want. And then once you hit enemies, it will damage them. And there we go. So far so good, right? When I say that whole five minutes and when I try to only use this weapon, and when I use it like you don't want to normally do. You don't want to normally just hold down the trigger, do you? Because normally holding down the trigger is bad because you use up ammo. But hey, we only use up ammo when we are shooting enemies. Actually, you know what? This is pretty fun. I'll be honest, if I was in the other frame, I don't know if I could just stand out in the open like this and do whatever, but, hey. Okay, combustion beam. Life support. Now, if I recall, combustion beam used to be only, is only for, like, rifles and whatnot. But, it being for this really helps this a lot, in my opinion. See, and I can keep holding it, of course I got reload, but this is saving me so much in ammo, I don't know if you know. I can just keep the constant beam going as well. Additional life support has arrived. Or, there is a secondary fire, let me show you guys that. It basically does the opposite. The... the Normal fire, such as beams separated, then they come together. Secondary fire is the opposite. Beams sep you know, beams are together, but then they separate. I like the normal fire better with this mod, if I'm being perfectly honest. But, you know, that secondary fire is always an option. As you can see, it's getting pretty heavy on the slash there. Critical slash. Which I'll be honest, I didn't even know was a thing just now, but I suppose, um, you know, I suppose critical, normal critical gets a thing, so why not over critical with status, right? I know what you're thinking, but bam, they aren't even that high of level enemies and it doesn't instantly kill them. They're level 20, which will get you through the star chart. No problem, first of all, and second of all, sometimes it's not about strictly killing the enemy. Sometimes it's about having fun, you know? Just straight up having fun. The end, I could pull some crazy jumps, and all the jumps didn't even use up ammo. Normally, <clears throat> like if I'm using my Amprax or something, and I did this, I'd be out of ammo. But I am nowhere near out of ammo right now. Now honestly, this does not have the fastest reload, so this mod is kind of a lifesaver, honestly. A lot of people I feel like take for granted the first part of this mod. And you know, if you haven't checked out this weapon, I think I'm going to recommend you check out this weapon at least once. I'll be honest, I came into this review, I was just going to review the mod 
I was going to say, I don't care for the weapon at all, but I'm having a little bit of fun with the weapon. Now that you saw, you saw what I put on the weapon to, you know, do this. And yeah, definitely, you know, feel free to let me know. Is this a weapon you want to check out? Is this weapon really not your cup of tea? So you're going to skip the rewards? Are you really not feeling Nightwave at all? So you're not even going to bother trying to get the reward? Or is it something like you were like, oh, you know what? I wasn't going to get the reward, but Vampyr convinced me that this mod is awesome and it's worth a look at on this weapon. So yeah, definitely, you know, let me know what you think. Or are you one of those people that you're going to get the mod regardless of this video? You're going to get the mod because your guy catch him off. I have all the mods, no matter how painful it is for you, you guy catch them all, because I understand that mentality. I totally understand. Um, yeah. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it somewhat informative, and I will definitely Catch you guys in a future video. Feel free to hit that like button. If you liked it, feel free to hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. And yeah, later.